The Federal Reserve now sig signaling that it will likely raise interest rates in the coming months to curtail inflation. All right, so how soon will that happen and what does it mean for you? That's the most important part. Shirin's here with some answers. Yeah, the Federal Reserve has kept the interest rate at essentially zero since the pandemic started, but now they find it appropriate to raise it as early as March, the first time we're seeing a hike in three years. How this may impact you? Here's financial expert David Bonson. I think there are people who've gotten used to really low mortgage rates. It's been it's really helped people in, in buying real estate because they're now getting a lower interest rate. But what it's also done is push the prices of real estate up. And so it's kind of offset that benefit. On one hand, people have a lower rate that's giving them a lower payment, but then the price of the homes are going up. And so at the end of the day, the Fed feels the need to kind of take back some of the extra stimulus they gave the economy during the initial part of COVID. Yeah, since the pandemic, the Fed's kept the interest rate at zero to try and prop up the economy. Now the Fed say the economy is in some ways running too hot. The rapid growth matched with supply chain issues uh, is causing this, you know, inflation that we're seeing here that's at a 40 year high. Now, Bonson says a lot of the high prices that we're seeing now are not the Fed's fault. He says they can raise interest rates all they want. It won't affect the supply chain to accelerate. So can this interest rate increase, though, make a real difference when it comes to money in your wallet? I think that it will, uh, on the margins, slow down inflation, but not with a lot of the areas people are worried about. I don't think it's going to make a big difference with used car prices, new car prices, uh, goods that we're importing from other countries. The main area is with housing and rent, but that's a pretty big area because that's a third of what most people spend money on. Now, the Federal Reserve has not indicated exactly how many times it will raise rates or how aggressively. Bonson says there's talk about raising rates 1% over the next year. He says it will be a very slow process. Jim. Sure, and thank you. Let's check your time.